Do you know how much money actually comes in and out of your life each day, week, month, and year? It's probably not what you think. In managing your finances, never underestimate the power of knowing the fine details. In this video, we will look at how to create a budget. Welcome to Money Strategies for Life. Please click the subscribe button to receive notifications when new videos are posted. What is a budget? A budget is a written plan for your income and expenses over a set period of time. It should be based on facts and not ideas. In order to create a budget, you must first track every cent that comes in and goes out. Doing this will help you identify categories that apply to you. You can't create an effective budget without detailed tracking, and you need facts to make good financial decisions. What are sources of income? It's definitely not a money tree. For many of you, it may be one primary job that you pay taxes on but we'd like you to consider all sources of income, however small and infrequent. Let's examine this partial list. We also have gigs such as babysitting, tutoring, those types of things, bonuses and tips, maintenance, child support, foster care payments, welfare, veteran and unemployment benefits, tax refunds, and social security. Investments, small business, life insurance, inheritance or trust, gifts, selling online, gambling and lottery winnings, market research studies, scholarships, and oh yes, the bank of mom and or dad. Now you might be thinking that gifts and selling online aren't really sources of income, but have you considered how each transaction adds up over a year's time. What are examples of expenses? There are many to consider. Savings, yes, treat it as an expense. We will go into detail in later videos. Child support, maintenance, rent or mortgage, homeowners or renters insurance, real estate and personal property taxes storage unit, homeowner association dues or condo fees, natural gas and electricity, sewer, water, trash, internet, TV and streaming services, cell phone, auto loan, insurance, maintenance and gas, parking fees, bus or taxis such as Uber. And there are more to consider home maintenance and repairs, lawn care, household supplies, laundromat and dry cleaning, particularly if you rent, groceries, eating out, clothing, beauty salon, manicures, waxing, tanning, and yes, massages, entertainment, memberships and subscriptions, hobbies, pets, gambling and lottery tickets, alcohol and cigarettes. Yes, if you consume alcohol more than once or twice a year, we'd like you to track it in a separate category. Many people are shocked to learn the yearly amount they spend on alcohol when it is actually tracked on paper and not an estimated idea in their mind. Here are additional examples of expenses credit cards, payday loans, bank charges, legal and accounting services, federal and state taxes, gifts, donations, and yes, vacations, medical and dental insurance, particularly if you are a 1099 or you pay your own health insurance outside of an employer group plan, medical bills, medications, medical supplies and equipment, life and disability insurance. 
And finally, don't forget the children. Private school tuition, school supplies, school meal plans, school trips, camps, clubs, and athletics, summer activities, before and after school care, daycare, tutors, diapers, baby formula, and specialty foods, baby gear, toys, and clothes, allowances, and in some cases, college or trade schools, and student loans. Wow, those were a lot of examples, but the point is to get you to consider everything that applies to you. Now, after you have identified all your sources of income and expenses, write down the name of each source in a chart, dividing and grouping them into categories relevant to you. For this task, you can use paper and pencil, Excel spreadsheet, or whatever is most meaningful and cost effective. Let's look at three sample budgets. Please note, these samples simply show how to set up a chart. The first example is a renter's budget. Notice in the green box, sources of income are listed. In the yellow box are expenses, divided into categories, planned and actual amounts, as well as a note section. You can divide your expenses further into fixed and variable categories, but it is not necessary. Notice the renter in this example spent more than planned on an impulse buy for their cat, Bella. They also incurred an unexpected expense of a cracked windshield. In the blue box are month-end totals. All of the information in this chart is important because it shows exactly what occurred over the course of a month, and it helps you to plan more accurately for the next month. Of course, it requires that you track your income and expenses accurately based on facts and not ideas. When all 12 months are combined at year end, you have an incredible tool to empower you in determining the best strategy going forward. The second example is a homeowner's budget. It has many different categories which are relevant to owning a home and which apply to their own life choices. For example, this homeowner has an infant. They have included diapers and baby formula along with daycare as categories. They also have multiple debts that they make payments on each month. The third example is a budget created with pen and paper. Use whatever format is easiest and most effective for you. Expenses and income fluctuate over the course of a life. Some of the biggest financial impacts you won't see coming. Developing a budget based on facts is one of the best money strategies for life.